Hey there YouTube, it's Andrew or Preeminent Designs HD and today I'm coming at you guys with another tutorial. Today we'll be using the program Cinema 4D to make ourselves some basic 3D text but also make it look nice and professional by adding a floor and background. So let's jump right into it. If you guys are new to Cinema 4D, you guys are going to have to set up your guys' render settings. So to set up render settings, these three boxes are your, basically all your renders. The third box is your last render. Those are your render settings. Click on General and make sure your render engine is set to full render. Your output is going to be width by 1280 and your height by 720 and then your resolution set at 280. That basically gives it just an HD effect. Then go down to save. Your guys' file, save it wherever you guys want to. I'm going to save mine to desktop and name it text. For your guys' format, save it whatever you guys want. If you guys are making a still image, save it as a JPEG or a PNG and if you guys are making an intro, save it as an AVI movie. Today, we'll be making a still image. After that, you guys can X out of your guys' render settings. Now, is what we we're going to do is we're going to make our 3D text. But first, we're going to make our floor and background. To make a floor and background, it's pretty simple. All you guys have to do is go up to the square, hold, click on it, and go to plane. That will give you guys a nice flat plane, but it's too little. So what you guys want to do is go into the objects tab right here and click on plane. For your width, you guys are going to want to go infinite nines until it hits the up and down arrows. So right about there. And for your height, you guys are going to do the same thing. Infinite nines until it hits the arrows. Right there. Now that gives us an infinite floor that goes above and beyond. Now is what we're going to do is we're going to make our background. So is all you guys have to do to do that is click on plane again, control C and control V. If you guys don't know already, those are the shortcuts for copy and paste. Then all you guys have to do is select on the copy of the plane or in any one of them, it really doesn't matter. And go down to rotation in the middle tab, select 90. Then press apply and that will make it go up and down 90 degrees and make your guys' background. Now let's make the text. Now instead of clicking here and clicking on text and extruding NURBS, all you guys have to do is go to MoGraph and go to Mo Text. That will give you guys your guys' basic 3D text and it's already made for you guys. Now for me, I like to make sure that people know that my text is 3D and not just made in Photoshop. So what I like to do is I like to click on Mo Text, go to Depth, and type in 100. Some people will disagree and say 80 or 70, but me, I like 100. So now, click on Mo Text again, and then on the text right here, delete that, and just type in whatever you want to say. it. I'm going to name mine Andrew. Then, now we can select our text. So all you guys have to do is select font and over here click that font. If you have a lot of fonts on your guys' computer, it might take a while to open. I'm going to be using Bank Gothic MDBT. If you guys don't know what this text is already, it's from Modern Warfare 2 and it's used for all their subtitles and their cover title. Now as you guys see, this isn't dead on accurate straight and it's not looking at it dead on where we want it to be. So all we're going to do is we're going to make it dead on. If you guys are new to Cinema 4D, you guys are going to select your light tab. Your light tab can be found up here right underneath window and it has four arrows on it. All you guys have to do is click and hold on that and then go down to camera. Now, if you guys want to see, and you guys can do this with me if you guys want to too, all you guys have to do is zoom out. And to zoom out, it's a scrolling button on your mouse. That's all you guys have to do. Or you guys can use this little tab right here and it'll zoom in and out as well. But as you guys see, all these green lines. And then if you guys turn it a little bit, now you guys see a camera. We don't want that. We want to actually be the camera. So is what we're going to do is select on cameras and go to scene cameras and camera. That basically means that we are now the camera and we are in control of what the camera sees. Now to make it dead on, all we have to do is go down to rotation tab again and we're going to type in all zeros and then apply. That means now that we have an accurate reading of dead on and it's looking at it straight on horizontally. Now we're going to make the mode text look a little bit more professional and not so plain. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to click on mode text, control C and control V, again copy and paste, and that is going to give us a second layer of our mode text. Me, I like to keep my stuff organized, so I dragged mine underneath the camera so it's just all together. Now is what we're going to do is we're going to mess up our horizontalness a little bit for a minute and we're going to rotate it up. Now is what we want to do is we want to hold control and click on both the mo texts. That means that both the text files are now um, selected and they're dropped. 
So now is what we want to do is we want to select on the first mo text and click on caps. This means is basically is what it's going to be is it's going to give it a rounded edge and it's going to make it a little bit bigger. So now click on start and we want to make that a fillet cap and then at the end we want that to be a fillet cap also. Leave it at, at five centimeters I think for at least my text um, it definitely looks a little bit more nice and it just gives a nice little effect. Then is what we're going to do is we're going to select on our regular um, on our second file and then go to object. On object select your depth to be at 50. Now if you guys see this this now is selecting half of what we have now. So when we then is what you guys want to do is you're going to want to select on the second copy of the Motex, click on the blue arrow and make it come out a little bit. And as you guys see now it's almost like this is engraved into it. Now is what we're going to do is we're going to select on our camera and go down to rotation again and type in zeros. And then as you guys see, now we are at back at our horizontal finish. Now is what we're going to do is we're going to select both of the text files and we're going to bring it down so it's touching the floor so it looks a little bit more realistic. So for this, you guys are going to want to zoom in on the first letter and as you guys see, down at the bottoms, they're white. Is what you guys are going to want to do is if you guys don't see the bottom white anymore, that means that it's touching into the floor. We want ours to be right above the floor. So right about there. And you guys want to just go down your guys' text file and make sure that none of the white is not showing. Now, there we go. Now select on our camera again, and now we're going to make it straight on again. Now that we have it straight on again, now is what we're going to do is we are going to see what it looks like so far. To, if you're new to Cinema 4D, that all you guys have to do is press the first render button and I'll give you guys a pre-render of what it looks like. Pretty plain, it doesn't look very cool. Now to make new materials such as colors and uh, textures. All you guys have to do is in this gray area just double click. That'll make you guys a basic text, I mean basic color. Now if you want to change the color, you select on color and right here you guys can change your color. I'm going to make my background and floor gray. So now all we have to do is select this color and bring it over to the plane. Uh, I'm going to make my floor a little bit reflective so I'm going to put this on the second plane that I made. So right about there. See how that changed colors? Now that means that our background is now the color that we just made. That color. Now to make it reflective all you guys have to do is this. If you guys want the same color select on this color and control C and control V again. Remember copy and paste and select on the second color that you made. Now all you guys have to do is go down to reflection and now we'll give it a reflection. That's way too much reflection so you guys are going to want to obviously bring it down a little bit. I'm going to bring mine down to about 15. And now drag this color over to your floor. Now is what we have is this. Looks pretty cool but still a little bit plain. So it's what we're going to do is we're going to add in a light. When you click on this that will just give it a basic light because that's what it's meant for. So now is what we're going to do is we are going to obviously rotate it so we can make the light not in the text and looking out to the text. I like mine not to look like that, um, to be looking dead on the text. I like it to light up the tops. So I bring, I bring mine up a little bit like that and then I'll pull it closer and then a little bit more down. Now is what we do is we, you guys are going to want to select on camera again and type in zero for your guys' rotation. And now we are looking dead on again. Now, if you render it out, it looks pretty simple now and it looks like it's just resting on there. But we're gonna make it we're gonna go one step further and we're gonna edit this light. For this light, go down to here into your guys' general options and go to shadow. It'll it should be none and select shadow maps soft. Now it looks real. So now is what we're going to do is we're going to finish this out by making our colors. So I'm going to make two colors and I'm going to have black and yellow. Those are my favorite colors. Um, I do like the Steelers and I like Wiz Khalifa. So that's why I'm picking these colors. Um, 
you guys can leave the specular on. The specular is what causes this white stuff right here. And um, sometimes I don't like on some colors, but I'm going to leave it on black. And then for our yellow, just select whatever colors you guys want. And you guys obviously don't have to use black and yellow. Um, use whatever you guys want. I'm going to take the specular off of the yellow. So now is what we're going to do is I want my background to be black on the letters and then the fronts to be yellow. So how to do that, all you guys have to do is take the black and put it on the first text and then take the yellow and put it on the second text. And now this is what we have. Looking pretty professional and nice. As you guys see, you guys can sort of see the reflection and the shadows give it a really nice touch. And as you guys see, it's hitting the background. So it's even curving up so it makes sure that you guys know that there's a background there. Now, all we have to do is press this orange button right here, and that'll render it out. After it's done rendering, all you guys have to do is minimize Cinema 4D, and it should be saved wherever you guys saved it. Mine saved right here. You guys can double click it, and there you guys go. There's your guys' basic Cinema 4D text with a nice little professional look. I hope you guys learned something from this, guys. Um, please comment, rate, and subscribe. If you guys have any requests for any tutorials for me to do, please message me or leave a comment in the comment sections below. Until next time, guys, we are making you guys' visions a reality. Thank you, guys. Comment, rate, and subscribe, and bye.